Hello everybody, Hobsley23 here, first time posting on the new syndicate website. Today I'm posting a guide, alright, how to actuate. I know some people are having trouble with actuators. Uh, honestly, they're pretty simple. For all the opening hoods on all my cars and the doors and occasionally trunks, very rarely though. Um, I use actuators, you just gotta know... Basically, you almost do the same command every time. Actuator, there's an actuator right here. Alright, that's an actuator. Uh, there's actuators. Pretty much, they add the most amount of detail that you could possibly give to your vehicle. Alright, so today that's what we're going to work on. Small engine. And we're going to have some fun with it. Alright. And whip, okay. Alright guys, the actuator tab is going to be the very first one, which personally I think all bricks should be the very first one, but you know. Hmm. The actuator top and bottom, the first little one by one, alright. It's round, okay, and what it's made to do is made for things to spin on a one by one axis. Alright, and, nah, 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 open. And most of my vehicles have these here. This guy has actuators on him. I built this a while ago for my boy Ripsaw. Alright. You see? These lights right here. They spin all the way around. You know, basically searchlights. Alright. Both of them have it. And so, you can... That's basically what these are for. Alright. It's just for, you know, like most actuators, turning things around. But, uh, it's, you guys are overcomplicating it, honestly. Alright, here's the actuator, uh, 1x3s. I'm not too sure how to use these. I tried to use them once in a real suspension buggy, and everything just went to fucking hell really fast. Um, basically what these are meant to do is just go up and down, you know, uh, a lot of people use them for suspension, but they are, they call, they do cause a lot of desync. And, well, what's desync? Desync is, you know, you know when you're just driving behind that big truck and it spazzes through the building and, um, hits you in your mouth and blows up your car and then he blows up and then buildings fall down and then, uh, you know, everybody's like, oh my god! Yeah. You know, usually those trucks, it's a high brick count. And actuators. Trailers cause a lot of desync, but this isn't a video about desync. This is a video about actuators. Alright, so here's possibly one of the most simple actuators to do doors with. Okay? Couldn't get any more easier than this actuator right here. I use these and I turn them sideways. Right? No, no, nobody likes you. I use these right here and I turn them sideways. So that they look like this, but technically I don't need to do that, alright? That's all, you know, it's all too extra, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's just so extra. So you gotta stop being extra, because Shaniqua will snap on your ass. Alright. So Ripsaw also made the body on this, I made the engine, this isn't a building showcase, this is a fucking, you know tutorial. Alright, this is what gets used here, alright, to, to help these doors open. And as you can see, the little signature bump right there, mine are facing inwards, you just gotta find what works. And this one is kinda hidden inside of this block right here, which is very nice. That's what happens when you close the door, alright. But they're right here, you know, you just color them the same thing. I don't know why. Okay, all right. It's it's so easy. It's just so easy, man. All right. Another thing that has a lot of actuators on it is my fire truck. It desyncs pretty bad. I can tell it's desyncing because I'll be looking behind me, and I'll, I'll just be driving. You know, no, nothing's happening, and a hole will appear in a building behind me, and I'm like, "Oops, I didn't do it." But I did. So, this has three different types of actuators on it, I do believe. 
E, E, 3. Alright, so basically this has, it goes 4. It goes up and down, alright, using, this is what mostly all fire trucks use. They're sturdy, they're big, you know, they look, they look very right for the situation, alright. And, uh, the one below it, it's uh, kind of a Lazy Susan, if any of you guys have those in your house. It's, it's an older thing. Uh, you know, you set spices on it, and that small-ass cabinet, you know, that you can't see past the first row of things, too. And you can kind of spin it around, and the spices go around in a circle, right? Yeah, that's it's basically the idea behind this, all right? And this guy right here, this is a sliding actuator. What it does is, this is um 20 bricks long. This 20 bricks uh, turns into uh, 39 bricks, and it gives me extra reach. All right, now if you guys are building a fire truck, like you know, these are these are all good things to note. Uh, also, all right, I'm just free cam what I have here. These are the actuators that I was talking about that I use for the car doors. You guys can't see them very well right here. Uh, I made them go up into the roof, and they hold the antennas really nonchalant. You can never tell. All right, my secret is uh, exposed. What happened? Somebody's somebody's getting fired. I'm fired. All right. Same actuators that use the doors. You can kind of see them go back here. Yep, alright, so you see this joint right here in front of me, uh, that it moves on, that is the full actuator male and female right there, alright, the three prong female and the two prong male, okay, so pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Now once again, desync <coughs> is a huge problem with actuators, uh, because it can really be a mess, guys, and then you'll be like, hey, that dude hit my car. What the, what the fuck? I, I don't know you! And he'll be like, yeah, man, you you hit my car. You teleported through that house over there and, you know, took my penis. Okay, I'll stop. Anyways, uh, you know, it's trivial stuff, but they make the vehicle look and function so much better all right here's another example you you don't need very much space you honestly don't all right look you see that that's that's not much space at all but the actuate wow this is black it's really hard to see it. oh ooh, racism demonetized all right anyways they're they're right here all right you you guys can't see them i, I know i know i can't i can't see them either all right they're, they're, they're there, though. They're there, and they love you. Very much. Alright, let's get my Lux out. Alright. Okay. You got opening doors on this. You got opening hood. A little detailed engine I made. Um, the steering wheel. Okay. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see the steering wheel turning? You see it? Wait, wait, wait. It's around there. Alright, guys. The steering wheel moves. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Anyways, you know. Actuators literally make our square pollution needed pollution needed there it is world spin around all right these couplings right here these are couplings all right guys there's a difference between couplings and actuators okay couplings decouple this is also known as a coupling if you guys if your dad has a trailer with his truck or anything you know it the truck has a ball there's a ball and a hitch okay this this is the ball. This would go on the back of your truck right here. And this is the hitch. This would mount on the front of your trailer. You would back up to it. And you know you would you would crank it down and boom it would fit on there and then you have to lock it on. 
Now these are made to decouple, meaning they don't slide, they don't turn, they pop off, alright? So this is what people use to mount bombs on the planes right here. These are the decoupler 1x4s. Um, they don't allow movement, uh, but then when you press the button, they just decouple and like, this is your bomb, you know. Oh. Oh. Right. <laughs> this is your bomb, you know, it's just like, you know, there goes North Korea, right? Demonetized. Alright, anyways. Rip North Korea 2017. Okay. And this is the actuator that's on my fire truck, making the ladder spin around. Alright, this is this is basically just made to spin like this. Alright, it can go both ways. It's an orbital. It's what we call what we call an orbital actuator. Alright. This guy's smaller ones. These are the ones that they have that they use in Lego a lot. Um, you know. I have I have quite a few of these. Um, and actuating is very easy, guys. The one rule about actuators. The only thing that can be connecting the part that you're actuating to the vehicle is the actuator. No studs can be around it anywhere. That's why everything around the part that you're trying to actuate has to be lined in flat blocks, guys. It has to be lined. If it touches any other stud whatsoever, it it's just going to connect and not work. Alright, if it connects and not works, you know, then it, then it doesn't work. And then you're like, oh my god, what did I do wrong? And then you have to tear your vehicle apart. And if you're not that committed, then you just, like, drive it the way it is. And you're like, eh. I've had this, I've had the problem before. It's, it's common. You just gotta be really careful. Uh, you have to be so careful. For instance, on this. Just ignore that. Alright, you see this? Alright, if this white piece right here was studs, you know, that, that couples onto studs, alright? This trunk wouldn't open. Uh, if there was a stud there, okay? It it wouldn't it, it wouldn't operate at all and so this is the first this is the first car i made with a trunk opening trunk it's it's pretty fast too it's got a 5.0 in it it's pretty nice uh so that is how you actuate okay if you guys want a tutorial on me actually doing something with actuators like actually using them instead of just showing them off saying what they do stating the rules blah 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 you know you got you guys gotta you guys gotta speak up you know go go get your teacher and say there's bullying around around this parts bullying everywhere so you guys honestly have to say something all right if there's you know these are actuators right here these are actuators all right male and female Okay, yeah, actuator just adds so many details, guys, it just makes things move, and it makes, honestly, your creation look a whole lot better. Alright, I want to thank you guys on watching this YouTube video. Down below in the description will be a link to the Discord, and um, a link to our new website, along with a link to our YouTube channel. Okay, everything will be down below. Alright, so don't fucking friend me and be like, Hey, you mind if I, um, you mind if you slide me the link to that website for you? And I'm gonna be like, mate, no, I'm sorry. And then you're gonna be like, ah! And then I'm just gonna unfriend you. Unless you actually wanna, like, do, do something with your life. But, I, uh, yeah, that, that's not me. Anyways, just... Thank you guys. All of you guys are amazing. Alright, I just want to say that right now. And I will leave. There's going to be three links. Alright, Discord, YouTube, and website. Okay, the website is in pre-alpha. YouTube is in uh, alpha. Our Discord, it's pretty much complete. Um, you know, I'm still getting labels made. Not labels. What the fuck are labels, bitch? Alright, I'm still getting, um... Hey, what do you call that one thing, man? You know, that represents your fucking company. Wow, it's honestly skipping my mind right now. God damn it. 
Anyways, I'm getting those, you know, those one things made, like here, like here. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let, let me show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. Like, like this thing right here, you know? Yeah, you know, your brand, your brand image, you know, what the fuck. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna end right now so it doesn't go any longer. I'm at 15 minutes, 23 seconds. Love you guys. Three links down below. Bye.